Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Grass Beer Reviews. Today we're continuing our Lambic uh, beer. So here, this is Lindemann's Framboise, uh, which is a raspberry Lambic. Uh, uh, Lambic made from local barley and malted wheat while yeast, spontaneous per fermentation, raspberries were added, creating a secondary fermentation and yielding a beer of exceptional flavor and complexity. Uh, again, this is another very, very low ABV, 2.5%. Just a little stronger than raspberry juice. <laughs> so, uh, not something that I would probably purchase again. I've had this beer eight to ten years, uh, guys. Uh, I bought a bunch of these at one time uh, before I was into reviewing a lot of beers. Uh, so, and they have been sitting patiently in my fridge downstairs for that long. So, uh, we're, we're getting these out and getting them reviewed. I don't know what year it is, guys. Uh, so, with that being said, let me jump over to Untapped if we have any additional information. They also have it listed at 2.5%, 12 IBUs. Uh, and basically, it's a raspberry lambic, and I expect it to be very similar to the other two that we have done so far, the apple and the uh, peach that we've done. This one should have big uh, raspberry notes, uh, slightly tart, and very easy, very well-made beer. So, with that being said, let's get it on here and get this foil off and get the cap off and get the cork out and all that good stuff. So, and let's see here. A little bit of a process to get these corks out. Cap off, corks out. Seems like a, uh, a lot of trouble to go through just to keep a 2.5% beer uh, from getting oxi oxidation in it or air into it. So, uh, not much pop. And I'm sure this is probably going to have a lot of big sediment in it, just like the last two since they have been sitting in the fridge that long. So, uh, I see a chunk of something right there in the top. So I expect it to have big sense. So we're going to pour it very gently. Very pinkish coming out of the bottle. Looks like raspberry juice, don't it? Imagine that. Hmm. Try to keep an eye on it. It's a very dark beer, guys. I'm trying to keep all those, keep all that sediment that's in the bottom on the bottom. And there is a bunch of it there. Big notes of raspberries already. Big time. Alright guys, uh, very reddish mahogany color. Good looking beer. I expect this, like I said, to be a, a very well made, slightly tart, big time raspberry uh, juice. I don't know if you call it 2.5% of beer, but I guess it is. So, let's get it to the nose. Big time raspberries. I mean, it's just like you took raspberry juice and poured it into the glass. I mean, that's basically all I'm getting. It smells very nice. Very sweet smelling uh, for what it is. So, let's dive in. Cheers. Exactly what I was expecting. 
slight tartness to it, being a lambic, and big time raspberry juice. Raspberry juice is off the chain, big time. Super crisp and refreshing, a great summertime beer, which we're not into yet. Uh, good pool beer, good beach beer, a beer that you could have multiples of, uh, being that low of an ABV. Uh, very nice, very well made, very tasty. Very pleasant. Very, very pleasant beer. Alright guys, we're going to let it warm up, let her have some, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back from a sip on it, probably close to an hour. Another half liked it. It is a very tasty raspberry beer, if you want to call it 2.5% of beer. Just strong, a little bit stronger than just fruit juice. Uh, very tasty, very well made, guys. Uh, if you're looking for something other than raspberries in this particular beer, a little bit of tartness, uh, but basically tastes like raspberry juice, guys. Uh, it's what it is. Uh, very enjoyable, very crisp and clean, very refreshing. Final shot. Tasty beer, guys, to me, not something I would probably repurchase again, not because of the quality, but because of the ABV, and because it's a fruity beer. I'm not much into the fruity beers. So, with that being said, if you've had the Brown Boys from Littleman's, let me know. Uh, like I said, I don't know what vintage it is. Uh, to me, guys, I'm going to give it a 90, A minus. No ABV or any kind of dating that I can see on it or read, so... Uh, over to uh, Bear Advocate, they say 88, very good. And over at Untapped, they have it at 3.77, uh, both B plus numbers. Uh, I'm giving it A minus uh, because it is a very, very well made beer and it's cellared extremely well. Tastes very tasty for what they say it is. Raspberry juice. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.